dear participants in this session this is the fifth session of the tableau in this session we will learn how to do the calculation on tableau right how to use the various type of formulas on tableau if we do not have the ready made information in our excel sheet right if we have ready made information in our excel sheet then directly we can make some of the graphs write some of the tables right and then we can make a decision right so if we do not have the ready made information then with the available information we can do some calculation and then we can make ready made graph then we can make the sum of the graphs and presentation right so that is how we can do it so let us learn in a tableau how we can do these calculations dear participants in this session we will learn how to do the calculation on tableau right so in this session we are going to do one interesting calculation on tableau like so if you are working in the recruitment and selection department then you might have come across with this problem you are giving one particular date of joining to the individual but individuals are not joining on time right so if zero is coming between date of joining and actual date of joining then you can say that there is no problem in the organization in term of the joining but if there is a huge gap is there the date that you have given to the individual to join the organization and actual date of joining right if there is a huge gap then there might be a problem for the organization so if you want to do and this analysis right so one date that you can subtract from the another and then you can get the days right number of days how many uh, number of days that individual is joining late right so for that i have created two uh, more column to this dummy data so one is date of joining which is given by the organization second one is date of actual joining so one a date which is given by the organization so for example let us see this 21st january 2024 is date of joining given to an individual but that individual joins the organization on 12th feb but that individual joins the organization on 12th feb 2024 right similarly you can see another date that is given 21st 22nd january 2024 but 13 feb 2024 is the actual date of joining so if we want to perform this analysis on tableau so how will we will be able to perform that is what we will understand so one date that we will subtract from the another one right so that is what so this is the excel sheet that you can see so now i am going to open my tableau right so you will see this is the tableau that i have opened right so that data is already available so here this this sheet that you have already seen so one side you will see the all variables are there so that variable that you can see the actual date of joining and date of joining which is given by the department or given by the organization so now i will Op, uh, i will open this analysis part so two options are there once you can go to the analysis right and then you can click on this create calculated field another option is there you can go to this search and next to that search you can see one option is there you just can click and then also you will get this create calculated field right just click on this right and now you will see this dialog box is coming right so in this dialog box first you can give the title what is the title that you want to give to this calculation so for example so we want to for example we want to give a title delay in joining right delay in joining right so this is the title for uh, that is what we want to give to this calculation now now we can go to the next one so all is written so it will be difficult to search which type of function that we want to use so just you click so now you can see what type of uh, 
a formula that you want to use. You want to use related to the number, you want to use related to the string, you want to use related to the date, you want to use related to the logic, aggregate, table calculation, whatever you want to do it, that formula that you can select. So, for example, just I am showing only one formula, so you can select. So, good thing is, once you will select, then you will get the all formulas related to this. So, related to this date, these all formulas are coming. So, what we want to calculate here, we want to calculate here the date difference. So, we will select here date difference. So, the moment you will select this date difference, you will get the definition of this formula, how this formula works. So, now you can see date difference is there, start date and date, right? Before that, date part that is written. So, in which format that result we want? We want in the, in the format of day, we want in the format of month, we want in the format of year, that is what we will write and then we will write the start date and end date. So, which one is going to be the start date? Whichever is the earlier date. So, which one is the earlier date? Date of joining which is given by the organization. So, first we will take that date of joining. Second, which one is the end date? Actual date of joining, right? That is the end date. As of now, you can leave this and uh, start of week that you can leave and how you have to write it, right? So, that is what you can see here, the example is there, right? Date difference, month and then date of, date of uh, required date to on which that employees are going to join and then date of actual joining and then you can see this difference is coming minus 3, right? So, if minus 3 is there, what it indicates? And what plus 3 is there, what it indicates that you know, minus 3 is there, it indicates that employee have joined before the date of joining. Plus 3 is there, it indicates that employees have joined after the date of joining, right? So, that is how you can understand, you can understand the definition of each variable which is there. So, now you can read this definition and you can understand how this function works. So, right, so uh, all types of functions that you can understand in this way and then you can create it, right. So, let us write the formula. So, what we want to calculate? We want to calculate date difference, right. So, date difference, the moment you will write date, so date difference will come here, right. And now you want a result in which format? You want a result in the format of day. So, just put into the inverted, single inverted comma day, right? And then which one is the start date, right? So, that date of joining which is given by the department, right? So, date of joining which is given by the department, right? Next, that date, uh, that uh, end date, which one is the end date? So, actual date of joining, right? That is the and date. Now, we can close the bracket, right? So, now, still it is showing the error. So, we need to check where is the error. Still it is showing the error, okay? Just let us check where is the error. Right. So, now you can see this calculation field is valid. So, I had forgot to put this commas. So, now I have put the commas and you can see that calculation field is valid. So, now I can apply, right. So, the moment I will apply, you can see this new variable that has come below the line. So, it indicates that it is in numeric in nature, right. So, delay in so days that we have count, so days in a number, so that is numeric in nature. So, now we can perform this variable will behave like a, any other ba variable. So, now if you want to know city wise, right, how many people are come joining late from, so now I can put the city into the columns and date delay in joining I can put into the rows, 
now you can see what is there it is sum but sum may not be useful so we will go to the average right so fortunately that you can see that average is coming 22 right because this is the dummy data it is not the actual so it is could be possible it could be the same same thing is coming right same average uh, uh, number of average average delay is the same right in term of the days right so now this bar graph that i have put right and you want to put it into the, in this format so this format also you can table you can put it into the table right so this format let us take so how we can play with this format what you can do this color is there you can go to the added color right select to the automatic and now you can see whichever color that you want to give right so for example you want to give red green right and reverse it if you want so red to green that you want to give and now you want to put a limit right so let us assume you are giving a limit of 16 right then you will see that all colors will get changed right so what is happening that is how you can put a limit right 16 20 22 25 right so whatever is limit like acceptable limit if you, you believe that in your organization 25 days is acceptable you put a limit of 25 days and then see how many organizations uh, from which city people are joining late right from which city people are joining late right there is a delay and from which city people are joining on time so some of the cities color that you will see in green some of the cities color you will see in a red so red color indicates that there is, there is a problem so you can highlight that right so here all are showing green color because because the average date for the all cities average number of days for all cities are same right similarly you can calculate for departments also right similarly you can calculate for the departments also right just let me remove and then i will put the departments right city wise that you have understood so now let me put department wise also right so departments are average delay in columns so you can see so it is coming sum so again i need to convert into the average so average is the same so again it will come same right so now you can see department wise you can see city wise you can see education wise you can see gender wise right so that is how you can calculate the additional variable and then you can make the various type of graph so you can see this information was not given in the excel sheet but whatever information that was there by using this calculated field create calculated field we have created the another variable and now on that particular variable we can perform the various types of the test uh, we, we can by using that particular variable we can make various types of the graph related to this variable also so now you can source of application status of interview right gender department city right so any demographic variable like any uh, in a previous sessions that we have discussed you can use it and you can analyze the delay in the joining in which department in which gender in which at which education level in which city there is a problem related to the date uh, the date of joining that is what you can analyze right so that is how you can use uh, use uh, this calculated uh, field and create new variables right calculation that you can do in term of the numbers as well as in term of the string data also right so that i already explained the moment you will click on this calculated field this is coming so all so if you want to do number related calculation you can select number and then you can see which type of calculation you want to do if you want to find out this uh, let us do you want to do square so now you can see how what is the meaning of this square right so what do you need to do just you need to write square 5 
right and you will get 20, uh, 25. So, how you have to apply the formulas that also you can understand by reading the definition of these formulas, right. So, dear participant, in the last session of the tableau, we have learned how to make the calculation related to various variable, right. If variable is type is number, then we can perform the number related uh, calculation. If variable type is a string, date, right. So, whichever variable is there accordingly, you can perform the calculation, create a new variable in the tableau and then you like uh, so once you will create do the calculation so then you will get the output either in the form of text or you will get in the form of number so if it is number then you will get the variable below the line if it is text then you will get the above the line right and then variable will behave in the similar way and then you can perform the various then you can make the various types of the graphs in order to understand that particular variable in detail or in detail you can understand the variable and then you can take a decision related to that particular variable as we have seen how to calculate the date function in this session. So, thank you. I hope you would have learned how to use the tableau in this session. I would like to convey my sincere thanks to our director IIT Roorkee, Professor K. K. Pant, head of the department, Professor Rajat Agrawal. NPTEL and uh, team, also the e-learning center coordinator and uh, team with uh, uh, Mr. Pankaj Seni and uh, all the members uh, from the e-learning center, uh, especially the teaching assistant Mohit Pahava, Prashant Mishra and Rishabh Tripathi. So, I hope you will enjoy this course. Thank you. At the end, I will say, Aap sabhi ko Shiv ki shakti, Meera ki bhakti, Ganesh ki siddhi, Chanakya ki buddhi, शारदा का ज्ञान कर्ण का दान राम की मर्यादा और कुबेर की संपदा प्राप्त हो थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर ज्वाइनिंग दिस कोर्स